look at the good and the bad of uh, YouTube Red. So, um, the positive is that if Google recognizes you, no know YouTube videos show any ads, and that is a big positive. Uh, so for ten ninety, you know, for ten bucks a month, basically, I have no ads on Google and YouTube. That's great. Um, the range of music available is also great. Um, so what's the problem? Well, the first problem is YouTube R Red doesn't work outside of the United States. So when I go to Asia, basically, it does not work. Uh, the by far biggest problem, however, is this offline mixtape. So when I'm traveling, it doesn't work. Um, and what they say is you can use your offline mixtape. So one time it's been erased, uh, and so there was no mixtape and no way to upload or add to the mixtape. Um, now, the settings and menu in the offline mixtape are incredibly crude. So um, this is basically your whole menu. You've got media, which says you can listen to audio or audio with video. You can listen to up to 100 songs. And uh, the, the absurdity comes in how they pick the songs. So I have over here in Liked Move, uh, what do we have? So I have history. Um, let's try and go back. So that's not very clear. So so I'm I I'm not able to get easily to my liked music. So I've so here here's some weirdnesses. So I'm in here. So liked playlists, apparently I like two. Liked songs, where are the rest? Um, you have to press, let's try this. No, that doesn't work. You have to press this arrow to get to all the liked songs that it's pretending are just these three. These three songs, so you go through this, and then you wonder why YouTube Red prefers, for example, this is one of my favorite tracks. This is what you came for. It's a great video. Want to add it to your offline mixtape? Uh, mix Tough. Because... Uh, It's like, how do you get it in there? This is in your liked songs. Now, Google claims that it's going to uh, draw from your history and from what you like for the offline mixtape. And it says if it doesn't know what to do, it's going to add in other songs. Uh, well, hello, how come most of my favorite songs are not on the offline mixtape? The, the next frustration comes in, uh, how do you, like, if I go down here and uh, If I go down here, and for example, I don't want any zoo, but is there an option? Like, supposedly, this is the move from stations, but it's actually not the case.
case because what I'm basically getting at is you cannot select your own offline mixtape, which is the most obvious thing. If you want control over your own music, you want to be able to click on a song and say, put this in my as one of my hundred songs. You've only got one uh, choice. And... Uh, let's see here. What do I say? Just like... <clears throat> Where the hell is it? Um, you've only got one choice, which is Google's choice. So I I literally go through this bizarre joke of trying to get music onto an offline mixtape that consists of deleting 90% of what Google puts there, which is useless songs that I don't want to listen to. Uh, and then watching Google replace it with 90% of what I don't want to listen to. And wondering how many times you have to go through that bizarre ritual to get something offline to play when traveling. So this is the... Um, bizarre state of freedom to choose your own music on Google Red at this time.